Hi everybody, it's Patty. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to all of my new subscribers. Uh, it's great to be back again. I have a lot to show and I have a cat over here. That's <laughs> I'm really sorry. I tried to get him out of the room but he, I guess, wants to be part of it. So I'm going to talk about retreat first just so that I can get some of this layers down. <laughs> I had a wonderful, wonderful time at the Stitch and Stash retreat in Edmonton. It was at the um, West Edmonton Mall in the Fantasyland Hotel. Um, my friend Edith and I drove together. Uh, first night we stayed in Edson and uh, then we drove on the next morning to Edmonton and stayed at the Days Inn and went to our first uh, day, which was the Thursday, uh, June, uh, I think it was the 22nd, 20, 22nd, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll just double, double check here for you. Um, then uh, we found a table which, yes it was the 22nd which um, was full of some wonderful new friends um, and uh, we started stitching and we had a good visit with everybody introducing ourselves and we got some wonderful wonderful gifts from lots of people. Um, I'm not going to name any names except when I know for sure because I will uh, guarantee get somebody's name wrong. So the first thing we got was our um, our bag. Uh, sorry. It came in in this Valdani bag and uh, this was on the table. It's um, a sample of some, I think it's like a, a cream or something. Yeah, body cream. And um, some, let's see. This is. Uh, a skin complete cream and reset overnight reset so uh, I haven't opened them yet because I didn't know if I could do it I can't do with things with a lot of scents in them so Valdani gave us this catalog with uh, a lot of their um, Floss, or, uh, yeah, flosses in it and tells you all about them and uh, so yeah that was kind of cool I didn't pick up any um, their table was always so packed with people that I never got a chance to uh, to really look at their stuff um, then in our in our um, um, bags from our stash, no, oh, what are they called? Swag bags. What was in our swag bag was uh, some tea. It says you are terrific. Um, I think it was a stamping group that made those, and then. Uh, little mug rug. Our theme was flowers. So they had somebody make all of the, everybody got different colors. And, um, little scissor case. It's uh, three pairs of scissors. Uh, here and up at the top there. And then pretty flower print on there. And then uh, Traditional Stitches was there and they gave us these little zippered bags. We got a little needle book. With 
belted side for storing all our needles. One of these little Oort, pop-up Oort containers. I'm going to keep that in my bag for when I go to the library today. Ah, we got a little uh, 2023 charm, like zipper pull or for your scissors. And from Cheryl's Creations by Cheryl, we got another little zipper pull. She was there selling, I believe she was selling bags. Beautiful bags, but it's not something I buy. I usually get mine at Dollarama. Then a uh, waxer. With a pretty little flower on it. And then uh, Grateful Threads. Uh, she was there selling um, fabric. Oh, it's tied up so I can't get it out. But there's some charms in there and some pretty pink and purple floss. And then uh, a couple notepads from the hotel. And a little poem. welcome card. It was beautiful. Yeah. Everything was so well done. The pen, there's a little um, piece about uh, moose hide. And last but not least, our beautiful pattern designed by Jeanette Douglas with Maldoni flosses to stitch it with. So I can't wait to stitch that one. It's, I'm, I'm definitely going to do that with the uh, with the Stitch and Stash Retreat logo on it. So let me just throw all these back in here so I don't get them. I can clear my table a little bit. Okay, so that's all that. So then, um, Baldoni also gave us these spools of thread. They are 35 weight cotton, highly, 100% highly mercerized cotton, 2160 yards, great for machine and hand quilting, decorative stitching, heavy duty sewing, tatting, sergers, and more. They're made in Romania. And my friend that went with me, Edith, didn't think she'd use her, so she gave me her spool too. So I got two. Yay! <laughs> so then, um, I had told um, my friend Jen of uh, Jen's. Sorry, I had to look that up. Um, Jen M. Bowman on um, Floss Tube. Um, Please go give her a, a look. She does some wonderful videos. She does a lot of crocheting, uh, beautiful cross stitches, and, uh, and lots of cool things as well. Anyways, she gave me this cute little floss bed. Look at that fabric. Isn't that great? And some beautiful counting pins. So there's and sorry, Claire butterfly, and this one has a dragonfly. And this beautiful little card. <coughs> now the rest I don't necessarily know who we got them from so sorry um, we got so many gifts so I got some flossed holders uh, some more counting pins <laughs> oh there we go little pair of scissors they have a little thing for the end which is perfect 
um, another little <coughs> excuse me another little um, needle book with a little needle threader inside Boss bling. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, I met Cheryl um, from Happy Handcraft Studio um, out of Calgary. Please go give her a look on FlossTube. I really like her videos. But she gave us all some uh, stuff to use as for when we're doing our finishing. So I really like that. Um, oh, she also gave me a little zippered pouch. Very well made. really like it. So thank you very much, Cheryl. And Jen, thank you. Um, this was from Cute as a Button. Needle, it's needle minders. This one is uh, um, needle threader. And then... Uh, this little bag, I don't know if, if it says who this one came from, let me just take a quick peek. Okay, so there's some more counting pins, a little butterfly sticker, a little rose sticker, there's some uh, a candy in there. Oh, and this was from uh, Lisa from Lost in Stitches. I just started following her and watching her videos as well. So it was nice to to watch her, her uh, get to meet her. Okay, so let me get these all out of the way. On the table, because our themes were flowers, we all got... I have the stem winded up because it was a long stem. But it's uh, anchor floss, and then if you just take a little peek inside, like this is anchor 110, so you know what color it is. So that was kind of neat. And then um, what I gave them, uh, just the people on my table and a few others, is um, I used to make notepads. I used to have a notepad business. And so I gave everybody, they were all different, so this one has a cowboy on it, but there was a bunch of, that I stocked that I still had left over. And then there's a little card in there showing my um, floss tube. A little floss, um, some were Weeks Dye Works, some were other companies, and then some 2023 charms. So because I have one left over, if uh, leave a comment down below, I will pick a winner and mail that out to you. Okay, then we did a smalls exchange, and uh, I don't have a picture of mine that I gave, but it was a um, a berry that I got from a Just Cross Stitch magazine, and I. I've stitched it for myself, so as soon as I get mine finished, then I'll show it on here so that you can see what I gave. But um, mine was stitched by Barbie, who turned out to be sitting right behind us, so that was really cool. Um, so happy that you picked my bag. I loved stitching this for you. This is a small section from A Tisket, A Tasket by Rosewood Manor, and this is what I got. blown out. There we go. And then on the back. So isn't that pretty? I can't wait to add that to my, to my display. The colors and the stitching is just perfect. So thank you very much, Barbie. So, oh, she knows. Okay, what's next? So, at the end of our thing, we got a card. 
Thank you for joining Stitch and Stash Retreat 2023. It's always so special to be able to stitch, share laughs, and enjoy company of others who have the same passion. Please plan to return to Edmonton June 20, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd of 2024. For another fun-filled weekend, the theme for this retreat will be Christmas in June. So I went, oh, Christmas is my favorite time. But unfortunately, my friend that came with me this year, Edith, is going to be away and doesn't come home until March. And I understand when she said that she didn't think that coming home in March, she could go away again in June, which I, I understand. And I had been talking yesterday while I was having breakfast with some other stitching friends and I managed to talk them into coming with me next year. So the, the three of us are going to uh, drive together and share hotels and have a blast. So I'm looking so forward to that. So next I'm going to show you what I, what I bought, <laughs> which is a lot. Okay, let's do patterns first. So, this is Jeanette Douglas. So it's a little B. Um, what's it called? Three B's. Then this one is called One Sunflower. And then, of course, I had to get Chubby Bunny. Ah, I can never figure out this camera. Okay, there we go. It's uh, the silken wools. I want it mainly for the sheep because I'm going to put it in my um, my craft room. And then uh, let's see, is that all the ones that I got first? Yes, I believe it was. So I got Foxwood Crossings, the sl uh, sleds. Um, there we go. Oh, patches. Hello. Thank you for throwing everything on the floor. Mouse included. Tail. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Get your tail out of the picture. <laughs> Silly, silly boy. Okay, I got Itch to Stitch pillow from October House. I got Stitching Men's The Soul by Tidy Modernist. And this is so true for me. It has really, really helped me a lot. I got, um, by Al Alexandra Allidlade, I got the Maple Leaf. Um, I got the Hands-On Design O Canada. Didn't get it done for this year, but definitely next year. I got this cutest little gnome millhill kit. I got this one for my daughter because she so I'm going to stick that in her stocking she doesn't like perforated paper so I'll switch that out for um, some Ada I am going to be stitching the um, hands-on designs polar plunge so I managed to get the boards for them there's uh, all of them in here and uh, yeah so I'm looking forward to doing that I bought Butterfly Reflections from Sue Coleman and my wonderful new friend who is sitting at our table, Bernice, she bought it first and I went, oh, I have to have that. And so she went and picked out fabric and started it right away and then shared the fabric with me. So it's like a mint green 
So what we're thinking is we're not going to stitch this border that's behind the butterfly. We'll use the fabric to, to do that. So I'm really looking forward to that. I also got Sue Coleman's chickadees. Oh, there we go. And I got Flowers in the Winter Banner by Stony Creek. I've been wanting this one for a while. Sorry. You know me, I like my uh, bell pulls. <laughs> And then I got this one from Carolyn Manning. I just really thought it was beautiful. And then one more Jeanette Douglas. I can't wait to start this one. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This one's called Joyful. And, and my friend had just finished this Sue Coleman, so she uh, gave me the pattern, and it's the killer whale. So I'm thinking next year has to be a Sue Coleman year, because I have lots. <laughs> I have one one um, whip to show you that's a Sue Coleman. And then little mister over there got a hold of this one when I stitched it the first time, so my friend bought me the pattern, or the kit, to replace it, and it's this little Halloween cat. Yeah, he got it uh, out of one of my displays and he ended up shredding it. Little bugger. Um, let's move these before I show you the last of the stuff that I purchased. Put these away too. Okay, the last of course, is some fabric, which is what I really, really wanted to buy. So I got this polka dot fabric. It's 32 count, white dots and natural by Zweigart. It's 18 by 27. I've always wanted to give this stuff a try, so I will do that. Then I got some um, 18 count vintage country mocha by Zweigart, Ada. And I just like it. It's a good neutral. And uh, so then the last of the fabric I got was from the Grateful Thread. And this one is 28 count, 18 and a half by 26. And I just love the modeling in that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Don't know what I'm going to stitch on that yet, but I'll have fun figuring that out. This one is also a 28 count even weave, 18 by 28. And it just looks like a sky, you know? And I love, I love fabrics like that where you can make your, uh, are you coming through again? Keep going. Come on. No, you don't need in there. Get down. No. Come on, get down. Thank you. And then this one is 14 count, 20 by 43. And it's got some sparkle to it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, a little bit. Sorry. There, that's better. And uh, that's a great size for a bell pull. I was thinking the, um, the snowman in the flowers. Good. Good on that one. Okay, so that's all my goodies from retreat. I honestly got to tell you, if you have never been to a retreat, you need to go. I'm, I'm so looking forward to being able to go next year. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to show you my whips, and then, uh, then I'll have to go because I have a few things to do before I go to library stitching. So I got this pattern. I've got a few finishes here to show you. I got this pattern off of Etsy. I will put the name of the <clears throat> Etsy seller in the description box below. I made a little change. There was a butterfly at the top and I changed it to a hummingbird. 
um, just trying to figure out what I'm going to be able to put behind this so that you can see it. Maybe we'll use this. Okay. It's hard to forget someone who gave us so much to remember. That was my husband. So, gotta get that framed. That's stitched on um, 14 count Ada that I got from Michaels, and it's the color on one side and the back is just white. Um, and I did this, oh, what is this pattern? I think this was a Stony Creek one. And it's just two little chickadees at winter. Get that framed, and I'm not going to be able to put glass on that because of the buttons that I put on there, but that's okay. It'll uh, only go up um, during winter anyway. And then this one is the one that I was stitching at retreat, and I managed to get it finished since I've been home. So, here I did this whole row. And then um, that one at retreat. And then when I got home, I did the rest. So that border and all the white inside, I used almost a full skein of B5200. <laughs> it was a beast, <laughs> but I really like it. That's a Jardin, Jardin Privé chart. And then I'm just going to show you my whips. This one is um, Dan Hicks Creates. I bought it from uh, oh shoot! I'll list it below. It was um, I watched uh, Helen D's um, channel, and she it's who who they do rich or um, sales together think of what the name of the company is but I got it from there and uh, so I've just got the the stuff in the um, I only have a PDF of it sorry so just some um, flowers in the above the bird and stuff to do and then um, then that one will be done I'm taking that to stitching today and then my other whip is a Sue Coleman and it is the dogwoods and hummingbirds and let's see how far I've gotten here get it the right way it goes this way just working on this hummingbird and then there's one more up here at the top and um, then I'll be done and that'll be two out of the three I want to do patches sorry just one sec Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. He was climbing my bookshelves. <laughs> and now he's going to squish his tail and make noise here. <laughs> Anyways, um, that'll be the second one finished. And then the third one I want to do, my friend is stitching it right now. And she said she'll give me the pattern. Is this one here with the columbine. So, uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to... Uh, to having those three done and then I'll try to get them framed the same way. All right, so the only other thing I was going to show you was my, um, my daughter was off work for a little while and she did some stuff around the house to help me out 
and she made me a stitching area out in my screened in porch and it is my favorite place to be so I'm just going to quickly show you a little bench there and a little table and um, at night it has lights that are on t um, solar lights that are on that come on and uh, it's just so peaceful out there but I also did some painting in my living room so it's a pretty green that's my living room and dining room are and kitchen are all in one room and then while I was at retreat she painted my bathroom this is my ensuite it's a pretty lavender color she painted the countertops using um, a YouTube video I watched they used um, appliance paint so she painted the countertops white and the cupboards are white and um, uh, the wrong way hold on there Oop. so that's my bathroom there and then uh, she also did the main bathroom these covers used to be like it's kind of a wood grain brown and she just sanded them down painted them white did the countertop as well and just that freshened up really made a big difference and then um, here's just some of my color that's in my garden my lilies are in bloom petunias are gone nuts <laughs> lots of color I got um, beans out of the garden the other day and oh they were so good um, anyways that's a catch up with me I thank you very much for joining me and uh, huge hugs from Patty take care everybody happy stitching bye bye